everybody, welcome back. Northern Land, track of the day to you, laddies. Track Mania, Pepsi Bottle, a Coca-Cola Gloss. Top 12 BC yesterday? I thought we did really well. <laughs> but you know what? Here's what I'm going to say. Shorter track equals more competition. That seems fair. Um, top 119 Egg Carton. So this is weird because, like, you know, top 8 BC yesterday. Top 112. Top 12 BC, which is like 50% worse. Well, I guess like 33% worse. We're top 119 in the egg carton. You know what that says to me? British Columbians, low attention span. I'm not going to deny it. We're used to looking, oh, the ocean, oh, the mountains, oh, I've gone three seconds without seeing the ocean or the mountains. Today is Arashi. Let's see what the heck people are saying about this one. I like it a lot. Lots of eights. The most common review for this one is eight. Gold medal, 50 seconds. Author medal, 46.321. GPS in the opposite direction. Okay, here we go. You're driving. You're on concrete. Following the concrete. Oh, you go through the stanchion. You go around. You get a little banked and cambered corner. You get low air time by hitting the left side of the ramp. You stay low airtime on the bank in Camber. Very nice theming, no doubt about that. Dirt corner is always a little bit spicy. Dude, I'm not used to a long map. <laughs> this feels like uh, like a marathon here. It seems uh, relatively gentle. Like it, it doesn't seem like it, it seems like a map that's going to be hard to remember where to go because it's not just on a classic track. Um, so I think I will, like, put opponents on to begin with, just to kind of short-circuit that side of the track. But um, apart from that, it, it doesn't seem particularly difficult just to just to finish, at least. We'll see how things change over time. You go through this... Well, you can go through the stanchion. Definitely remember that you're looking at slides there. Low air time, that's great news. Definitely remember you're looking at slides there. Those are cool uh, checkpoint gates as well. All right, so you just come down low. Cut across the grass a little bit. Hit the brakes when I didn't need to hit the brakes. But you know what? It's a learning experience. I don't think that was really a slide either, honestly. Low air time. Great news. A little little spicy there. Okay, we're going into the, into the Halloween tunnel, which I just realized now again is on dirt. So that being on dirt means that we uh, don't want to do a power slide like that. I mean, that's a beautiful thing right there. Didn't hit the wall, so we're still rolling. Okay, we're still still rolling. <laughs> Although that was pretty terrible. All right. You know, you, I think you can full speed that if you get lucky. All right, so you head into the tunnel. I do see that there is an alternate path. Dirt is very technical. It's the most technical of all the substrates, in my opinion. I say that both as a joke and also because it's what I truly believe. I um, don't know if that's the right way to tackle that one, but we do appear to have made up some time on the silver, at least. Skirt? Uh, let's hope that's the right way. <laughs> I think, like, on concrete, it's mostly like, hey, take this corner at full speed or slide. On dirt, it's like there's a lot of variance in whether or not your corner is going to work out the way you want it to. See, that was like a, that was a beautiful thing, in my opinion. Then squandered by not entering that turn right. But, hey, you can't get gold on the first run every single day like we did yesterday, you know? Yeah, try not to hit the grass there. Um, it, it's going to take us a little bit, you know? Usually, I look at it taking about 15, 20 minutes for us to get, like, one clean lap in the books. On your average track mania, track of the day to your laddies. And it actually, it takes a lot longer. Um, most of the time when I try to flex, like doing a, a power slide for almost no reason like that. We also main, I mean, trust me, I, I think that the stanchion is probably the right way to go. But there's a little piece of me that's like, you know, at what cost, you know? This is fine. Left, so you get low air time. Good stuff. Now, perfect corner there. I bet you can take full speed. But we did not take a perfect corner. 
So what we're going to say for now is just, just get those wheels a-turning. Seeing more of the track is always going to be beneficial. We got straight wheels here. It, 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 we actually, I think, made up a little time at the end. There's a much better entrance to that corner, I think. You want to stay left? Oh, do you want to stay? It's the problem is like when you fall behind the ghost that does good things. It sounds like a Goosebumps book. The ghost that does good things. But then you're like, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do on this element. And it just keeps getting worse, you know? That's why we got to fund our education systems. You never want to, you never want to be following a bad ghost or an inefficient ghost. We were half a second up on our on our PB, which has not even completed the course yet, but still. Okay, so we, we touched the grass and slowed way down. I'm choosing uh, to be the bigger man and not let that affect me. Low air time. You know what? It's still going. It's still going here. Just just enjoy it. Now, you want to... Yeah, yeah, I don't know why we struggled so much with that corner the other times. Almost hit the mushrooms. Mushroom lanterns? I don't know what they're called. Look like mushroom lanterns to me, brother. Gonna get some airtime we're not fond of here, but that's okay, because we're still rolling. Probably just want to turn... Yeah, 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 you just want to make that... It's it's very similar to the final turn in uh, yesterday's track of the day. Okay, and then I remember he kind of cut the corner a little bit in the GPS. And, I mean, is that a... That's a silver? I'll take it. We got a lot of improvement to do here. But just having completed the course is a very good start. Okay, so just stay on it here. Yeah, you, you, you really don't want to hit the grass there. That's I, I've been trying to cut the corner. Remember, you got a nice car here. You know, it's got good traction. It's got the, it's in sports suspension mode. The other thing is, by, by taking a wider angle, you actually might make it a lot easier to hit the angle you need for the stanchion in the first place. I forgot what section of the course we were on. I'll just I'll just level with you on that one. I'll just own up to it. So it's probably like two seconds ahead. I mean, I'm two seconds ahead of me, but I gotta catch up to this guy. That felt like a pretty good entrance here. Then you wanna cut across like so. Oh baby, oh baby. Spicy. We're not going to get the gold here, but we're going to be mighty close. Probably stop doing what I'm doing there. That, I mean, we cut five and a half seconds off of our time. <laughs> That's a pretty good second lap. You can tell because I got a voice crack. Uh-oh. But a 50.41A is pretty good. I would say, you know, this has a pretty medium skill cap. Or, uh, sorry, skill floor. You know, I always like to put it in perspective. Some tracks are very hard to complete. This track is like a medium difficulty to complete. It's certainly not uh, on the, the truly hard level. Not to say it's a walk in the park, like a beach house song or whatever, but... It's, uh, it's certainly not a walk in the park. But it's, uh, you know, relatively simple to, to run the gamut here and get to the, get to the exit. Now, I, I'll tell you as well... Nothing but 100% confidence that the gold medal's incoming. This one might not do it, but... The author medal is a little bit more of a question. We had a great turn there, though. You may not believe me yet. You're gonna believe me. It's only gonna benefit us more as we get further and further along here. Oh, uh, I hate that. Definitely hate that. I wonder if you could be on the grass, though, and use that as a shortcut. That's something when we get the better ghosts, we'll see. And I guess there's no real reason not to turn on better ghosts to begin with, but, you know, I'm I'm an iterative track maniac, as we've said many times before. That air time's gonna kill us there. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far I actually like this track a lot. I don't really see... There, there's no obstacles right now where I'm like, oh, this is gonna be... Uh, heck in the future, you know, I, I don't really see any HE double hockey sticks coming for us. Got to stay a little closer to the inside on that one again. Um, it, it just feels like a track that's like pretty, you know, it's, it's a good mix right now of uh, both artistic ambition and also like it's fun to drive. 
Now, grinding the author metal is usually where most of my salt comes from. <laughs> so we'll see if that indeed ends up being the case here as well. Oh, that was such a good run, too. I, I, think, I think we got a big, like, quantum leap in our very, very near future. And I, I honestly think I'm screwing that slide up badly, but if it's working for now, we'll, we'll pog up. There you go. We, straight wheels? I don't even want to think about how much time we lost on that one. <laughs> Still kind of keeping it moving. That's a much better entrance to this corner. And you want to make sure you're coming to... You want no air time on that. No air time on that if possible. I, I got a little greedy. I got a little greedy. But I'm telling you, the quantum leap is definitely coming here. This is a good trek. Eight, eight seems fair, but I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm kind of leaning to the higher side right now. Let's let's not, you know, count our chickens before they hatch, but anyway, how am I doing? I'm doing well. You know, we're eleven and a half minutes in. No gold yet, but it's it's very much on the horizon. Um, it's a good day. Today's Monday. Happy Labor Day, everybody. This is the first Labor Day I've spent at home in uh, like a decade. Usually I'm at PAX right now. But uh I'm happy to be here, honestly. I'm, I'm, I mean, I would never say that due to the circumstances surrounding it, I'm happy that there's no PAX. You know, I, I would be happier if there was a PAX and we just chose whether or not to go to it for ourselves. Because <laughs> I know it's a, it's a you know, nice thing on the calendar for a lot of people. But honestly, being at home is, is nice. It's nice as well. Okay, keep it going. Don't get sucked into the mud here. About a second up, and then this ghost gets very slow just up ahead. Like right there. Hold it. That was not a good turn. Oh, are you kidding me, man? That it, it was just trying to slide on that corner that screwed us. But yeah, you know, getting getting eight hours of sleep a night, waking up in a, a house with a full kitchen and, and nice bathroom instead of uh, just being in a hotel. It's pretty pogged. I'm not going to lie. Being at home is pretty sweet. But it really, it is weird to think about it, I guess. Because I'm trying to think, the last, since 2012, I've gone to PAX West every year. So it's definitely the first Labor Day at home since 2012 but then on top of that labor day 2011 i was still teaching in korea so i was like definitely labor day 2011 i was uh i was in south korea so really i, I don't think i've been at home for a labor day since since labor day 2010 which is wild to me because that's like you know Maybe five months after I graduated from university, which is a lifetime ago. <laughs> in case you can't tell by the fact that I'm getting a little gray in my beard now. Send it. Great send. I, I Honestly, I glanced at the time. I glanced at the time when I should have been going full speed there. So yeah, I mean, the thing is... Labor Day, you know, I'm not saying it's not an important holiday. Uh, especially, you know, when you consider what's behind the holiday. But in terms of, like, you know, societal significance is definitely, you know, it's not your Christmas or your, your Hanukkah or your Easter or, you know, your, your country's Independence Day. You know, it's, it's a little bit of like a B-tier holiday, but very happy to be quote-unquote celebrating it at home. Hello, Tomo. Why would you just do, why would you do that? That was a good lap. Tomo! Cats, man. You never, you never know what they're... What are they getting on about? I think there's only, like, four kinds of cat meows. There's, like, hunger, annoyed, give me attention, and then, like, genuine distress. 
That one is definitely a give me attention meow. I've come to recognize them. Did you know? This is, you probably did know it, because this is one of the most common, like, you know, today I learns. Did you know that cats in the wild and the silver spoon uh, don't actually communicate via meows? The meow is actually like a, I don't know if it's an evolved or a learned behavior uh, to communicate with humans. Pretty interesting stuff, huh? At least that that's what I read or saw in a YouTube documentary, okay? I know you can't trust all the YouTube documentaries, but this one was David Suzuki. He's, he's well-liked in Canada. He's got the Order of Canada, not the Boards of Canada, which is also, you know, a, a great band, don't get me wrong. All right, 16 minutes in. I'm telling you, the gold is right here. And once we get the gold, I think I've learned my lesson. I think as soon as we get the gold, we should try to put on the min-max ghosts. Instead of like... I mean, I, I think we learned a lot yesterday, honestly. Putting on the min-max ghost early saved us a lot of time learning inefficient stuff from all the ghosts on the way. Like, I guess the thing is, like, getting a base level competency in the course seems good, you know? I, I, I stand by, at least for now, my methodology in that department by following the basic ghosts. Bro. But, um, you know, after that, when you, when you know how to dribble, when you know how to shoot, when you know how to pass, you know how to do a layup, who do you want to get basketball lessons from, you know? Tom, who's just a random guy, or Michael Jordan. Personally, you know, if, if, if all other things are being equal, I'll take the Michael Jordan lesson, thank you. I don't know, that, that felt like an amazing line here. I know we're losing time, but I think it's because we were slower coming into this. And this isn't our, this isn't our forever lap. Bro. <laughs> this is merely our lap to get a gold and then turn on the good ghost. So, I really think ghost management plays a, a much bigger role than I originally anticipated in, uh... And how well you're going to do on any given track. That's not even, like, close, dude. I wonder if the slide is costing us. Like, I wonder if you could full speed that section if you just took the outside edge. Nope. At least not like that. The only thing I don't like about this track right now is is something that's kind of static. You know, it's, it's a little bit outside of the track itself. I, I don't like the tracks that veer onto the longer side. Because I'm like, you know, I think it's less about length and more about, like, number of elements. What's the, what's the optimum, like, brain feel for number of elements? I'm like, I don't know. Like, half a dozen elements to, to really focus on seems about to be where I tap out. That felt nice. That felt very nice, dude. Now, just, just focus. Take a deep breath. You got this whole section here to just kind of relax. Good entrance to this corner. Gonna lose a lot of time there. But you can make it up by not hitting that one too early and not cheating these ones. There you go. So there's your gold. Uh, by a lot, actually. By like two seconds. I don't think we have to cut too much off of this. It is pretty early. It's like almost noon. Um, I don't think you need to cut too much off of this to get the author. Let's, let's see what we're capable of here. This is what you love to see, straight up. You love to see author medals that are like three seconds faster than the... Uh, or sorry, you love to see times that are three seconds faster than the author medal. So right off the bat, I'll tell you, they all go heavy right. Then on this, they... Oh, Okay, okay, you know what? This is why I'm glad I didn't uh, focus on the other ghosts for too long, if this is how you do it. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. It seems like a tough one to get, but, but dude, this, I mean, this is what you wanna learn, right? It is funny that this only cuts off three seconds. It's not, it's not an easy land, I'll be honest with you. 
Well, I shouldn't say it only cuts off three seconds. It only cuts off three seconds of the author metal time, which is like six seconds ahead of where we're at right now. Even just, what if you landed on the... <sighs> wonder if we need... Can we get to 180 and then throw it into a slide? Is that how that works? It, look, this is not going to be an easy task. But it could be fun. Like, I think that still might be fast enough. That's 236 faster than our PB? Really? It's four seconds slower than our PB? I don't know what I expected. I certainly didn't expect it to be four seconds off. Look. Let me have this one, okay? Just let me have this one. <laughs> it's a pretty difficult uh, yeeting here. What about that? That was a little bit better. Half a second. How can I be half a second ahead of... Oh, you know what it is? It's because the we have to hit the same number of checkpoints. So we're going to look further behind for a bit. But then it's all going to come together. The problem is we need to stay up with the other ghosts to know, like, what we're doing. Like, why did you guys go down there? That's the scary part for me. 13 seconds behind. And then you land on that one, maybe? I don't know, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we're there. Okay, just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. <laughs> they, got a, they got very far ahead of you on that, but that's the first time you've ever even been close. I need to see what you do! You go straight there, dude! We went, Blues. Don't have to go anymore. Okay, that's fine, dude. I'm not sweating that. That, that was relatively clean, and we can start to piece this one together. We're, we're not on Trackmania anymore. This is Beetle Adventure Racing. I know what you're thinking. What the heck do you do now? Oh, you go what? <laughs> I need to see what we're at when we get up there. You know, if we're ahead by like five seconds, I think that the PB is well within our grasp. So that you you can't even trust the split at all here to start with. This is weird, but I gotta be honest, I'm having a great time. So you go this way, you take it down, you go this way, you come up, relatively clean, I suppose. We're seven seconds off. I don't even know what the ghosts do from here. It's like they, they took a, do you see they climbed like up the grass wall? Yeah, we missed the checkpoint somewhere. So we're missing one key to the kingdom. This is like a really, really hard shortcut so far. <laughs> this is not merely like... Like, it, this is a different course. Losing 100% of your speed there is not going to be a great time. Hello, Tomo. It's also... It, it's like a... Just a monument to man's ingenuity, wouldn't you say? Tomo! You know, you're, you might hear that meow and think that this guy, he's like in distress. I'm telling you, I always go out there and then he just prances around. He's like, you pet me, I win. Bro, that's not good. You know what, I'm like, at least if we could learn... So that's our old ghosts. But then, so you come around here, and like, where's the second? Because they like dipped back down or something? I don't know, man. Like, uh, this is where we need to use the free cam, I think, but. I'd like to just keep up with them, because, you know, we can be three seconds behind them and still have a good uh, chance of the author medal. I will admit, though. 
We are kind of throwing out our earlier lines and relearning the track from scratch. But I think relearning the track from scratch with this cut is going to... If, if we do our time, is going to do more for us. I don't even know if you need this slide, dude. Feels like the slide may help. It was working for us, but you know, I'm just... We're trying new things. Gotta be a little faster. Oh, come on! Yeah, this is one where I can't really be mad at the track. Because uh, the track is pretty simple in the sense that, like, you know, it's not a hard track necessarily to run. Um, but learning this cut is a little bit on the uh, annoying side. But on the other hand, I'm also exhilarated. So, you know, you, you reap what you sow. But I'm, I'm spiced up a little bit. The thing is, I'm like, I don't really know how free cam works. So I'm like, do I really want to go Google in the middle of a run how to do it it would it would probably pay dividends that's undeniable alternatively i could just throw myself at this uh shortcut over and over hoping to keep these guys at least within my vision range <laughs> just getting increasingly hard Dude, just make it! <sighs> Google. How to use free cam track mania. How do you change views in track mania nations? Dude, I, I'm just saying it's extremely annoying. What, what's the camera control button? Isn't this free cam? It's extremely annoying the fact that uh, this game is called Track Mania. It makes it impossible to look up controls and stuff for it. Track, Track Mania 2020. Can we please have an option to disable camera changes? April 21st, 2013. How to add a custom camera to a replay. Okay, you know what? This is where you go to the, you go to the Discord for help. Hello, Discord. How do you use free cam in Trackmania? Let's let's see if we get any responses here. <laughs> oh, seven on the numpad. Thank you. What if I have no numpad? Maybe I numbad. I said numpad. What if I just hit 7? Doesn't appear to work. Alright. Um, then you go, you scroll up to this thing. You go settings. Graphic. You, you go input. Player bindings. Change camera is unbound. You might want to rebind it in input options. Okay, change camera. Press the new key for change camera. 7. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Cam camera free is numb. There you go. Yes, I would like. There we go. Thank you. Huge help. That's tool infinite. Two infinite. Sorry. I think it's a, you know, it's uh, bimodal. Okay. Then how the heck do you use the. Oh, there we go. You got. Okay. All right. So they come through this. We knew this was coming. The camera is harder to control. You don't need to save the replay, that's okay. The camera is harder to control than the car. Alright, they come down through here. Skirt. We'll follow them into the tunnel. Bruh! <laughs> okay, okay. They come out of the tunnel. They go this way. They go up on the ramp here. After they're up on the ramp, they just go straight off onto this, okay? Then up on the grass wall. Okay, okay. Can I go back to camera one, please? 
think this is where we want to be. All right, all right. So I think, like, I apologize for that taking a long time. I think we roughly know what we're looking for now. So we don't, we don't need to keep these guys in our sight anymore, which is exactly what we're looking for. I think this is the only way we were ever going to hit author. Like, the, the odds of us cutting two seconds off of our previous time is very, very low. I think it was two seconds anyway. I don't know. The thing is, like, one way or the other, this is where this is what we're doing right now. So get used to it. <laughs> it's uh, It might take us a little bit. Well, we're at 30 minutes here. It might take us a little bit to, to get things going, uh, to, to really accomplish what we want to accomplish. But, you know, this, this would be the first time I think we use a cheeky cut. It's certainly not, like, doesn't feel like resin. It's, like, substantially higher skill floor than just running the track. That was a great landing. Good layoff of the throttle in the air. And I think that smoothness is going to carry us forward here. Okay, so they're obviously just better. <laughs> they're driving super well. Okay, like I said, nice smoothness. This is like the scary part. There you go. You, you wanted to hit that, more or less. Then you want to, you just go right off the edge here. Then you go up this wall. Smooth. So we're now two and, and, and this is the last checkpoint. So we're two and a half seconds behind our PB, which is not good. Obviously, as much as I would like you to just be able to fart out the checkpoint here and, and get the author medal, that's not going to happen. We're going to need to learn the same kind of skills for, for this cut that you learned for the, the track proper. It's, it's so messed up because, like, I, I'll explain my line of reasoning here because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, why don't you just run the track the normal way? Well, here's where I'm at, okay? So, knowing that this is the way that you get the best time, I don't want to run the track the normal way. So, I'm going to run the track the shortcut way. But if you run the track the shortcut way, you're going to get frustrated. Yeah, but if I run the track the normal way, I don't think that the author medal is a possibility. So if we're not going to run it the shortcut way, we might as well like not even play the track anymore. Because we're like, you know, automatically hindering ourselves, right? So that's, that's my thoughts right now, is that we'll go through the hard times and hopefully just learn what we're doing. And, and get to the point where we can handle it. I mean, even just by doing that... We, we've improved our time by probably like a couple of a couple of seconds minimum there. And we still slammed into the barricade. So if we can do this without slamming into the barricade, I got I got high hopes. So they're keeping the wheels like pretty much turned a hundred percent of the time. It's good to know, it's good intelligence. Am I insane, or is one person just running the lap? <laughs> That's really funny. Now, I learned I learned something there, because we actually kept pace with the ghosts. I learned, uh, I mean, this is not how you want to approach this, but not so bad, maybe. Um, I learned uh, that you want to go to the right on the corkscrew, and then pull it back to the left before you get to the next section obviously okay that's not so good this this may have just added like another 40 minutes to the top of this video anytime we get even like a slightly clean landing we're gonna take it so don't get your wheels caught in the freaking wheel well just get used to, it's just gonna take practice You can lay off the throttle a little bit if you feel like it's going to make things a little easier. <laughs> Turns out this is not the way the track was designed to be driven uh, for obvious reasons. It's very difficult and there's a high margin of error on some of these transfers. That's good. That's good enough. But I will say... I do wish that the track had just been... It, it, I wish it had just had the three seconds sitting there normally. I mean, there is one driver, it seems like, that keeps coming around normally. I don't know if that's my old ghost or what. Well, we didn't hit the wall. 
That was like a 1.6 second save. Then it's more about like this section right here. Hitting the tree was pretty catastrophic. But you know what? There's there's a lesson to be learned there. There was that was a chance to maybe beat our PB. And again, beating our PB is not our goal necessarily. Our goal is to get that green medal. But we're not getting the green medal without beating the PB. We'll consider this an acceptable start there. That's an acceptable start. The worst part is though I don't even think it's the first transfer that has the like major difficulty. Well, maybe this will make this part a little smoother. You got to keep your wheels moving there, <laughs> if possible. We're like two seconds behind where we're normally at here. But what if you just gun it here? That was the smoothest we've ever made it through that section. I don't know, man. Like, I'm starting to realize... Well, I don't know what I'm starting to realize. Because I'm like, maybe it's just faster to... Maybe it's faster to do it the traditional way. If you're not great. Because, like, I'm losing a lot early. Like, I'm losing two seconds on this early. I almost wonder... It seems to me... Like, they're turning... But, like, they're turning a little sharper, if that makes sense. Like, they're landing so much more flush than I am. And don't get me wrong, he's got a high skill floor on this one specific jump. But, I mean, if we could just get this part, I think it would all start to come together. That's not gonna help. I still like the track a lot. I feel like I've, you know, I hope you'll... Forgive me here for trying something a little bit new. But I feel like we definitely... Have kind of uh, impacted our own enjoyment of the of the map. Um, in order to, you know, try to get the author medal. Which is a heavy-handed metaphor for the way the Trackmania videos normally go. But imagine the satisfaction if we're actually able to get it. The problem is, I think... Well, I was just going to say we're two seconds behind. But we're not really two seconds behind. If we're two seconds behind of the uh, of the shortcut ghosts, we actually are like way ahead. But I'm, I gotta remember, the ghosts that I see are not actually the PB ghosts. <laughs> Those are the... My PB ghost is running a completely different track now. We really can't glean anything from the splits. I keep, I'm trying to get out of the habit of gleaning this stuff from the splits. Now, we, that's suboptimal, but we got bigger problems. Dude, almost, almost, almost kept the wheels going there. I'm proud of you. Probably a little air braking. Never heard anybody there. So, if you'll excuse me. I'm mostly concerned... Oh, my Atlanta. With this section, like, right here. Give them a second. They're coming out. Are they coming out? I have no idea. We're just waiting on them. Okay, so they come over this way. They come down and around... Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. They come around like this way. When they come out, I'm looking for like two things. I'm looking for this left and then right and then a much slower on the way out here. Then they come down through here. They kind of just shoot the moon. Okay. That's that's incredible intel for me. I'm, I'm still not hopeful we're actually going to improve on our PB here, which is honestly would be a little devastating for me to, to leave this without having improved on our PB after putting in so much work on the meme shortcut. But I think it's good practice nonetheless. And hey, if nothing else, 
you know, if your goal is to improve a little bit every day, we improved today by just learning how to use the camera when, when the GPS doesn't show us the line that we want. So I'll consider that a success. So they go like mega slow up here. I gotta be honest, that's by far the best we've ever done there, I think. And then they just shoot the moon. Left of this tree. We didn't go left of the tree, but you saw, you saw we maintained a lot of speed there. So I think, there's a, I think this could be it, dude. I think we may have put together the, the riddle of the Sphinx. I, would I recommend learning the track this way? Let's politely say your mileage may vary. <laughs> but I think uh, at 40 minutes, I think there's a good chance we'll, we'll see some improvement here. It is going to require a pretty dream run. Because that was the first time we've ever landed like that, that hump corner the right way. Even close to the right way. I mean, not all tracks in Trackmania are created equal as far as difficulty goes, but having to like actively lower your speed into a corner is not typical of uh, what you need to know for these tracks, you know? Usually it's just like, hey, you're going to do a slide. Hey, this is going to be a full speed. You know, you're going to take this one a little on the left side because of what comes next or whatever. This one is genuinely like you want your speed to be low coming into this section. That's pretty good, honestly. And then shoot the moon. I could tell we were not going to shoot the moon. We're still up by 2.7 seconds. But we are coming from a standstill. <laughs> Dude, okay. So now we know we need that lap. Plus shooting the moon. And if we can get that lap plus shooting the moon, we got a great chance of the author or at least a very respectable performance. And the time that uh, when people watch my replay in the Discord, they're going to be like, what the heck? Which is really, that's, that's what I'm going for. So that we had a dream start to the last one, but I'm not worried about that. Because we don't, we don't need the dream start. We, we exclusively need the, the moon shooting. Which again... You might be saying, well, hey, NL, wouldn't you rather use, like, uh, checkpoint restarts? Well, you know, I don't know how checkpoint restarts are going to work on this. They'd, they'd probably work fine, but considering we're taking the checkpoints out of order and, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to, you, to your question. It's a, it's a weird self-inflicted frustration. Because I'm like, why don't they make this easier? And then I'm like, oh, because this isn't the track. <laughs> this is the... This is like the, the, the resin way to do the track. So I guess the fact that it's not easier makes a lot of sense, honestly. Can't really blame anybody but myself for that one. Yeah, that one's going to be a little flush. Oh, just falling off the track like that is devastating. But now I'm like... I'm determined. I'm determined... I don't think that's going to... I think you pretty much have to land on the tarmac or, like, you know, very, very close to the tarmac. Because it, it's not like it's a 10-second cut. Like, all of this is just what you need to do to save, you know, the two seconds that we, we want to get to author or whatever. It's not easy, dude. If you're watching this one and you're like, it's easy... I, I take huge issue with you, but this is an amazing start. Okay. Being last amongst these ghosts is, is a privilege and an honor. And also very helpful, quite frankly. You don't like to see that. <laughs> You would definitely prefer your wheels did not rattle such. Bro, we were two and a half seconds up. We just, like, we were going too fast at the top. Okay, okay. So there's, you know, there's hope here. And you know, it might seem like a lot of work to cut three seconds or two and a half seconds off your lap time. But it's, you know... 
Is it any less work than when we normally grind for the author medal? Spend 40 minutes trying to like, you know, get every turn pixel perfect and then don't get it anyway? Like, it, this, at least this is kind of breaking up the monotony a little. You know, they, they knew what they were doing when they put that tree there. That's all I'm going to say. I think that much is apparent. Now, a, a recurring theme here. Don't be afraid to lay off the throttle in the air a little bit. Now, I'll tell you, laying off the throttle on the way in is probably responsible for about 90% of my crashes on that first turn. But once you're in the air, a little bit of a readjustment there seems advantageous. So once every 20 times we get a, we get a stab at this. No! The car flipped over? How does that happen? It's like a centimeter off the ground. Don't give me physics. Don't don't say physics. This is Hot Wheels, buddy. Okay. Good turns. Good turns. You're, you're learning. You're staying up there. Consistency is slowly getting raised. Kept them. Kept the momentum. That's all you can ask for. That is actually, like, catastrophic. But again, I, I... It's funny. I gotta admit, it's funny. Of all the times we've made it there, the only time we've hit the streetlight is on our best run by far. But I'll tell you, we're getting a little better at this. It might not appear so right now, but we're getting there. I don't even remember what the, the track normally looks like. At this point in my life, the, the track is just this shortcut. And then the other four shortcuts as well. I can't tell if I am blessed or cursed for having discovered this. Um, right now, I certainly feel cursed. But the good news is, it only takes one good lap for it to become blessed. Let's let's hope that's on the horizon for us. You know, that's not so bad. We can we can live with this for certain. So this part is like a gimme. Once you make it through that first part, you know, in here you might lose a little speed, but we're not worried about that too much just yet. Then this part, usually pretty clean. That's clean enough to be like okay with it. Then here we just wanna just lay keep those wheels moving. Did not keep the wheels moving. About, you know, two seconds off of where I'd normally like to be, and we hit the streetlight. Amazing. Truly incredible. A, a, a remarkable performance. I just want to make it over, dude! Now, you know, there's a little salt, but sometimes this, the, the night is always saltiest right before the dawn. Or right before the end of the video, because then we just turn it off. And again, you know, usually we're looking at, like, once we get to the hour mark, that's really where I start to look at it, and I'm like, you know, how, how much of my life force am I willing to dedicate to this? But this one is, is hurting me more than most, because we really, you know, in the last 20 minutes or so, We've completed zero laps. Now, there's a relatively good reason for that. But it's not really any less frustrating. Like, it's, it's annoying. And the worst part is... Now I'm like, I'm using verbiage I've never used before. So instead of being like, who designed this? I'm like, they should have designed the shortcut out of this track. Because it's unfair to people who are bad, but know that the shortcut exists. It's like, it's got me spouting illogical things like this. And again, you're like, why don't you just go back to driving the track the normal way? And I'm like, I can't go back to driving the track the normal way because the freaking author metal seems like it's set in such a way that you pretty much need to... 
do the shortcut in order to make it, dude. It's it's a it's a terrible catch twenty two right now. It's like being in the Olympics as a figure skater, you know? You could make, you know, if you, you know if you fall, you're going to lose, probably. Unless there's a little bit of judge corruption going on. You know if you fall, you're going to lose. But you don't want to take easy elements that give you no risk of falling, because then you're going to lose as well. You know, you're going to end up in 11th instead of uh, 13th, which maybe I guess is what you're going for. But, you know, but if you land them, that's the only way you get a chance to win is if you do the difficult elements. So I think this is like, we're in the figure skating mode right now. I, I resist the idea as well that what you're seeing right here is regression. Cause like, it's just a re like, this is the, probably like the three hardest corners in my track mania history are all happening simultaneously. Or not consecutively, I should say. And even then, consecutively is not the right word, but... You know, you're, this thing is harder than even the hardest turn. When I labeled that video like the hardest turn in Trackmania history, I didn't know that this element here existed. Um, so, so this is harder than that corner by about a factor of 4,000. And then, the three elements, or the, the two elements right before the end, are a, a nightmare. The uphill ramp where you have to maintain speed. And then the uh, shoot the moon from the tree. Are all uh, an absolute tire fire. And it's not the level's fault. Because it's the shortcut. Now the level designed the shortcut I suppose. But you know you get what I mean I'm assuming. You know what would be nice. And now this is uh, again very petty. It would be nice if this shortcut didn't cut off like three seconds but instead cut off like eight seconds then getting it imperfectly would screw you from a leaderboard standpoint but still allow you the opportunity to set a new great score so I don't know I, I'm starting to in increasingly believe that we're probably going to leave this video slightly unfulfilled, to be honest with you. And it is what it is. I still think, you know, it's, it's a learning experience we can be happy with. Um, but th the results will not bear that out. Because we're, like, just barely at the gold. But I guess, philosophically... I knew we were flipping too. I guess philosophically, I would I would rather just get uh, barely get the gold competing for author than the alternative, which I guess is, uh, you know, never give yourself a chance at the author, but make the gold slightly better. It's like a tis better to have loved and lost sort of situation, I guess. And and personally, I think it is better uh, tis better to have raced and lost. At least we didn't roll. We did heavily overshoot it. They knew what they were doing. Like, whether or not I'm frustrated, I think the course is actually very well designed. Because, like, there's, there's trees in all the right areas to disincentivize you from trying the shortcut. Which I, you know, a little bit in my head, I'm like this, okay, Jigsaw. But, like, in terms of actual track design, I gotta admit, it's it's very good. So I stand by, you know, I, I know I said nine earlier. I kind of gotta, like, abstain from voting, because I haven't actually performed the track as written. <laughs> but certainly, you know, I recognize my wounds as self-inflicted. And I don't look at this and go like, oh, that why is the track bad? I look at this and go, you know, it's hard. So annoying. But, you know, it's just like trying to get a secret tape in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. If it was easy, it wouldn't be a secret tape. Now, most of the tapes in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater are indeed very simple to get, but, you know. <laughs> Thank you.
Just focus. Just focus. That's that's by far the most frustrating. It's like when you hit a tree, you're like, okay, I hit the tree. When you, you know, screw up a turn, you're like, okay, I screw up the turn. When you seem to land it, but your car flips over, you're like, okay, Isaac Newton, what do you want from me? I think that happens when our car is turned too perpendicular. We need to be a little bit more gentle. Like that, basically, and then keep those wheels moving. Yeah. Saw it coming a mile away, dude. <laughs> Saw it coming a mile away. Keep those wheels bumping. But okay, you know what? We're at 55 minutes, and we're still learning. In all likelihood, I'll tell you, if we ever finish a lap that's in the blue split, we're going to take it. Because at least, even if it's like not even that much better than our previous time, it's going to make one hell of an interesting ghost. Would I recommend that you do this? Yeah, I mean, if you have a lot of time on your hands, or you're a Trackmania expert who doesn't consider this to be a Herculean task, I would recommend it. If you are a... Um a relative track mania amateur like I am, I would say just get your gold and and, and leave. Honestly, for the sake of, like think of what you could be doing in this time instead. I'm getting like, you know, ad revenue for this, dude. If you're if you're doing this for free, I gotta know. You know, you're you're either amazing or I gotta know what kind of masochism you're on. When I thought it was, you know, it's just an example of, like, the sunk cost fallacy here. When I thought it was one shortcut, and then it would hook us up, I was like, Pog. Now that I realize it's three difficult shortcuts, all to save about a second each at the end of the day. Maybe a little bit more than that, but that's where I, I now am like, if you had told me that... <laughs> I probably would have handled things a little differently. At the same time, it would be great if you could modular or modulize them, modularize them. If you could do like one shortcut and then run the rest of the track as normal. That'd be something. But you cannot do that. <laughs> once once you're once you're off sync, you got to stick with this the new sync. I regret looking at these ghosts, but I'm, I, I think this is a real aberration of a track from that standpoint. I'm not going to let it get my philosophy down, and it's been fun to kind of like, you know, chase the dragon here. Don't flip, don't flip. Okay, you kept the wheels roughly moving. Now here you want to set up different. Ladies and gentlemen. We really did all of that to cut off two tenths of a second. A crummy commercial? <laughs> but you know what? Like, and this is positive, dude. We now at least have a ghost that we can look at. We also have some new expectations. <laughs> Which is that you have to be really good to, to get that ghost up there, dude. You cannot simply complete the course. But now we can at least judge how our laps are doing relative to our own ghost. Which is actually like a pretty big deal. So we're going to be up by like a couple seconds, I think. Once we get out of this tunnel. Half a second. It's not a couple seconds, but that's okay. Keep the wheels moving! I mean, how much more do we need to cut? We need to cut like a second and a half still? I think it's super plausible. The only thing is, we have to have our, our best lap ever. By far. So that in and of itself is huge. Just being up by whatever we're going to be up by on the way in here, that's a lot. 
but then we would have to equal our previous best performance from this point onwards, which is, you know, again, fairly difficult. Why are you flipping the car, dude? <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> I just... I just wanna... I just wanna have fun. Is that so much to ask? Just want a little dopamine coursing through my brain. Does that make me a bad guy? I was gonna say it's okay, we got speed, but speed is bad here. So I think the secret is you gotta almost, and honestly, I think this secret might unlock the, the keys for us. We're trying to land on the ramp. I think that the, what we should be considering is just in your brain, imagine that the ramp doesn't end, you know? Imagine that it's just a straight shot from one side of the road to the other side of the road, and then, you know, just, just drive as if the road's there. I actually believe the sign, which is just inconscionable or unconscionable after this much time. So I would say good track, but um, bad streamer. That's like where I'm at right now. Like I'm, I'm not taking it out on the track that I chose to be more ambitious than than my skill is capable of carrying me. Would I enjoy this track more if the shortcut didn't exist? You know, if that's the metric, then the answer is yes. But that's not because of a failing with the track. It's because of, uh, I mean, I hesitate to call it a failing of myself that I'm. Slightly less capable of handling this, like, 13 out of 10 difficulty uh, section here, but, you know, if that's how you want to see it, then that's fine. We should be faster than our old self. We are, by <laughs> almost nothing. Okay, but then just be perfect. It's not that hard. Just imagine the track keeps moving. Yeah, just imagine the track keeps moving and your car flips over for no reason. I don't know, like maybe you brake when you hit the dirt there? Or when you hit the track? It's all I can think of right now is like... How is your car not flipping over, dude? You must be some kind of expert. You got super glue on that thing? I, I can tell you, 10 out of 10, that was like way too... We landed way too hard. I'm honestly like, I don't even know if you need to slide. You just like lay off the throttle a little and then come in. You're gonna laugh at me. The slide is probably better, but if we can get more consistency... By just doing that... Like, that's my dream then. That, dude! What? That was so easy. And we're, like, right up there. By our standards. Is that is that the breakthrough we need? No, this is the breakthrough we need. It's extremely annoying. Again, not really anybody to blame but myself. Dude, I'm telling you, so that was not that much faster. But... So much more consistent to not have a slide in there for me personally. That has like rejuvenated my interest in keeping this track moving. Terrible line, but it, it literally like does not matter unless you can land this. Okay, so there, you're saying there's a chance. You gotta take this wide. Oh, that was good too. Okay, okay, oh, rejuvenated, rejuvenated. Like, look at that. That's clean, dude. Who would have thought after like 40 minutes, we finally got some consistency at that element? Human brain is an amazing and, and terrible thing. Amazing because it got there, horrible because. 
it, it suggested I do so in the first place. You know what's weird? And I'm, you know, it's a little late in the video for me to be throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. But I almost feel like going faster into that corner is going to lead to less rollover risk. Which sounds truly brain dead. Like, no, nobody that drives, like, a 2001 Ford Explorer would ever agree with the assessment of what I just said. However, I think that it's the, the, the rapid change in our angle of momentum, our angular momentum, that's causing us to flip over. As opposed to, you know, the... Let me put it this way. I think it's more about the velocity than it is about the angle right now. Maybe that's wrong. But if it's wrong, it also doesn't really matter. Because <laughs> we have we got to throw things at the wall here, you know, and see what sticks. So we're overshooting this by a lot right now, but I, I still think, in terms of consistency, certainly a bold move to try new things this late in the game. But, uh, I mean, is it bold? You, you know the Einstein quote you use against me all the time. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over. And expecting different results. Nope, that was way worse. Which is kind of humorous when you think about it, because... You know, that... that it's not that I disagree with that, that supposed Einstein quote. We clipped it a little bit. Let's keep it moving. It's more, though, that, like, you know, that's kind of the crux of the scientific method. Is trying the same thing over and over. You're not really expecting different results, but you're also not surprised when you see them. Because you're like, oh, then maybe this is not a verifiable claim. Slow down. Dude, honestly, that might have actually been perfect, but I, I lost confidence. I never really thought about it before, but I, I, I've never really liked that quote. Mo the main reason I dislike that quote is because you do something once and it doesn't work. And then you do it the second time and people go, you know, insanity is trying the same thing over and... Because the quote is not insanity is trying the same thing twice and expecting it to have different results. The quote is, you know, the same thing over and over. Alright, well... <laughs> Heavy rattling. Anyway. So the main reason I dislike that quote historically is because people use it against you when you try something two times. The second reason I don't like the quote is because Isaac, uh, or sorry, Albert, is, uh, in my opinion, you know, it's misinterpreted to kind of besmirch the scientific method, which is all about, you know, repeating results to verify them. Anyway, we're at like an hour and ten minutes. Um, certainly, without a doubt, it's a unique track of the day. <laughs> uh, I, uh, you know, became burdened with the curse of knowledge. I wish that I had. I, I wish that I had just progressively done, you know, the more traditional ghosts. I think my psyche would have been better. Although I probably would have been going crazy just in a different way. I would have been like, how do you get the author? It's three seconds off. I don't understand. So instead, you know, it's almost like we're, you know, witnessing how to do it, but we don't have the power to hold it. It's like an infinity stone or something like that, right? So it, it it's still a little stinky. Like, I'm leaving, I wouldn't say I'm leaving, like, mega frustrated. But certainly I am, like, you know, I'm, I'm leaving with a certain restlessness. I really thought we'd be able to do a little bit better than this, but... It is what it is, and, you know, we're, A, we're not quite done yet. And B, the streamer makes a farting sound with his lips. I leave this one up to the Trackmania community, essentially. I don't, I don't know how people feel about cuts and shortcuts and... I mean, long cuts, I guess, if that's the sort of thing you're into. Um, for me... You know, I'm like a Koopa Troopa Beach guy. You know, from Mario Kart 64, they got that long ramp that you can use to, to get into the, the dirt hole in Koopa Troopa Beach. 
That's like... I'm okay with that. But this is less like that, and this is more like that shortcut in Wario Stadium. Where you, uh, like, jump over the, the sides of the track and just go through the finish line to complete it early. And those, I'm, like, a little bit more... Not like, oh, it's not fair. I'm just kind of like, I find it frustrating, you know? Because then if, in order to compete, you gotta do the shortcut, but the shortcut's not even like, you know, you're not even playing like a racing game at that point. You're more like, you know, playing a platformer. Which again is fine, it, you know, it's not like this is something we've experienced every single day. The salt is pretty manageable, honestly. Because I know, you know, above all else, today, there's nothing I can say except for the fact that I did it to myself. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not frustrated. You know what? I just learned. You don't turn. You don't pre-turn. You keep your wheels straight instead. If you keep your wheels straight, you're not going to flip. We can now... Okay, so sure, let's put another four hours into this track. Okay, so instead of taking the turn... And I only figured this out because I was close enough to the ghost to kind of see, but... You land straight and then turn on the uphill afterwards. So now that we've done it right, uh, very quickly, the next step is very obvious. Let's do it wrong 30 times in a row, or take so long to get back to the element in the first place that we've forgotten how to do it. Um, so I would like the, the Mia Culpa a little bit. It was definitely the angle. It was not the momentum. All I would say in my own defense is we, we came off that strategy pretty quickly when we tried it. Remember, we flipped over and I said, nope, that's dumb. So if we can keep moving there, I bet that's like a one to two second improvement. Fortunately, now I can't get through the early section here, which is, uh, you know, its, it's own beast. <laughs> and again, it, it, I'm handcuffed, right? Because I don't want to be like, you know, who made this? Why would you make this so hard? Because really, it's like, we didn't. <laughs> I made a Faustian bargain. I said to the Satan, show me the way. And he said, are you sure? It's gonna get hot. And I said, that's all right, I'll pack some shorts. And then here we are. And uh, based on the length of the episode, we should have packed longs. You hear that, Kevin? Should have packed longs. That felt okay. Oh my God, you're dumb. <laughs> I got so enamored by saving, like, one-tenth of a second there that I was like, Oh, baby, this is the one. We're gonna get there, dude. Just give it a sec. It is miserable, but it's like, that's normal, right? Is miser not every track in Trackmania is is thrilling all the way through. It's usually like as miserable and then it's elation. Right now we're way higher on the misery quotient for sure. That might not last forever. Look, we got great speed there. It's not the way you want to take the corner necessarily. There's great speed. Now just don't take that corner too sharp because you're liable to get too excited with yourself I think we took this very inefficiently but we know what we want coming up next what did I tell you oh my god we, t we flipped <laughs> oh I don't know I don't know if I got the stones for this one The Trackmania community, you know, it's, it's it happens with every game. It's kind of leaving me behind, quite honestly. You know, I, I love doing the tracks of the day. But I'm, I'm... And this is not a bad track of the day, so again, it's kind of an unfair criticism. But like, I have that desire to compete, but I don't have the skill. And I don't really have the time to get the skill. Um, so I'm kind of just like... I leave, I leave a lot of these tracks of the day just feeling like, you know, what, what did I spend my hour and 20 minutes on? You know, just, just being annoyed. 
And then like once every five days, there's a track of the day where I'm like, oh, this is pogged. And I'm excited. And on the other ones, I'm like, dude, I could have recorded like... <laughs> so much more with my time than a single track mania video that's the length of three other videos don't get me wrong like i i love doing them it's just when i get locked and it's a personal problem but it's when i get locked into this like oh we're, we're like one more run one more run it's like the the dark side of one more run i think honestly like i think i'm gonna do one more lap here we, it felt like we had the keys to the kingdom um, and, and it's, it's clear that we did not have the keys to the kingdom. In fact, the locksmith said we don't copy keys like that. It's a security issue. Um, so, so we'll probably just, I mean, we gotta cut our losses, quite frankly. If, if anything, I would say, like, I think it's a, a really great track. If I had never known that the shortcut existed, I would have been... We gotta do one more than that, but if we'd never known that the shortcut existed, I think I would have been stoked. Instead, I'm I'm leaving like having gone through like a, a personal crisis. Like you can see the the joy having left my face over the past hour or so as we tried to grind out this one specific element. Not really for me. But the track is good. I think we turned <laughs> we turned a little too much. I in my head going into it, I was like turn less. Drive more, but I didn't. I didn't. And it's the this is like the the worst part of it is that it's super seductive cuz we really are one lap away from the author medal. And not in like the literal point dexter sense, you know, you're always one lap away from the author medal. But we, like, sincerely just need... If we land that and then shoot the moon, which admittedly is like a, you know, 10% chance followed by a 10% chance. If we're able to do both of those, that's probably the author medal right there. However, you know, at some point, common sense and, and sanity has to prevail. And that's, that's going to do it. <laughs> Unless somehow this proves to be faster than it has any right to be. That hurt. That hurt. You know what? Just for old time's sake, I'll give you one more. But I, I don't know, man. This one is like, I, I went into it. I was feeling good. By the end of it, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to play Track Mania tomorrow. I'm not saying this is the end of the series, because I'm, I'm speaking from a assaulted up position. But I'm definitely like... Maybe... You know, the, I think the resolution is like one of two things. Be okay with just getting the gold, which is something that I don't see happening, because then you're looking at like, you know... Some days will be like the shortest track mania videos of all time. And the other alternative is like... I mean, I don't. I guess I don't have an answer for you for what the other alternative is. But it's, uh, I don't know. We're working on it. It's just like it's getting a little frustrating. I I can't control, or I find it hard to control my impulse to just keep going until I get a run that I'm happy with. It's very difficult to end a video like this when you're unhappy with your performance because you're like, oh, if I just went one more or two more, you never know what could have happened, right? I'm not actually like upset. I'm just I'm I'm thinking about my future in track mania as the uh, as the tracks, you know, continue to get frustrated. I, admittedly again, is my fault with the shortcut here. As the tracks continue to get more and more frustrating. The author medals get uh, more and more punishing. The worst thing for me is now the the idea that maybe we could have actually improved our previous line well enough to get the author without resorting to the shortcuts, but I, I, I really don't see that happening. You can, you can feel the frustration, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not in any danger of, like, losing my mind or anything, but I'm kind of like... I'm 
I'm over it, I guess. Not Trackmania. I'm over this shortcut. Clearly I'm not because I'm still running it, but I would like to be. Dude, just don't flip! What is wrong with you? I'm so annoyed. I'm annoyed uh, with myself. I, I hate the way I don't hate you, not even a little. Not even at all. Okay, so, you know, there's a psychic pull on this track. To try to pre-turn the turn. Don't pre-turn the turn. Just go straight into it. And look at that, dude. The wheels took. The wheels took. Then just get this going. Incredible that that's your reward. But you know what? Like, we, we got something here. You can't deny that we, we figured something out. So here I am. I mean, yeah, I'll say it. Doing everything I can. Holding on to what I have and pretending that I am a Superman. We don't need to be ahead of our PB. It, it would be nice. But we will gain like two seconds on our PB no matter what if we just get this next element right. That airtime sucked. You, you gotta be a little slower or not angled, but you gotta take the turn a little differently. Like, perhaps at a slightly different angle. I guess, I guess we're going a little longer. It's no problem. It's not like every other series I complain about being busy. No, it's okay, because we brought back Monster Train recently. And those are, you know, only 50 minutes each. <laughs> That's what I mean. I'm like, dude, I'm... It's not like at a Dota level, but I'm like, I don't know if I should do Trackmania every day. I think six of these a week is, is sucking up more time than it's worth right now. That's that's speaking frankly, not meaning to be offensive, but like if if the tracks of the day were consistently I'm gonna rephrase, I'm gonna put this one on me instead of on the game, okay? Not something you're gonna hear out of a lot of YouTubers. If I got less consistently frustrated with tracks of the day, um I think it would be a different story. And I'm, I'm very, like, it's a double-edged sword, because when it works out, and it turns out well, I'm very fulfilled. Like, I'm proud of my good rankings. But, uh, I definitely also am, like, some of these days, I, I just find myself leaving, like, displeased. Good turn, though. You lost some speed, but that's, you know, par for the course here. Stop. <laughs> it, it is miserable, dude. But again, I... You know, I, I mean, I guess that's like... That's what it is, right? It's like you do it to yourself. So why don't you just stop? Well, because then, like, if you stop, what's the point? If, you, if you're not going to go for the best possible time... And you're just going to be like, I'm just going to fart out a gold medal every single day without even, like, really having any ambition? What's the point? Right, Tomo? You might as, you might as well just not be recording them. But this one, I, I will admit, is like a unique psychic vampire. It's, a, it's, it's the perfect storm in a good way and a bad way. The bad way is that the track is so good, and the, the shortcut... Frustration is self-inflicted, so you can't really blame the track. The good way is that it's clearly like the shortcut is well designed. It's just harder than I can handle. Now that was pretty solid. But like, does it need to have so many... Hard elements? <laughs> I get that I'm like, you know, it's big baby energy, but like... Sure, I get it. It's hard. It's not like I'm asking for it to just be like, press press A to, you know, set an author metal time. We've been grinding this for like an hour and a half. 
And as soon as we master one element, the next element just comes out and is like, Hey, uh, sorry, uh, who put that lantern there? <laughs> Upvotes to the left, you know? Like, do I just have some mercy? Just the slightest bit of mercy. At least we're much more consistent there. The thing is, it's a speed check, so we need to not rattle. And you're like, looking at my demeanor, and you're like, mission failed, buddy. And I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Again, like, it's it's a, such a weird track of the day, too, because I don't care about my split. As long as I'm within, like, two seconds, I'm like, dude, everything's fine. What's funny is I was gonna say, like, this is one where I think if I had two hours to kill, I would be like, oh, this is a really fun track of the day. Everybody should try to get the author medal today. The irony is, I don't have two hours a day to spare, and here we are an hour and a half into the video. <laughs> I'm channeling the salt for, for energy right now. I hope you don't think that, like, you're witnessing a man's emotional breakdown. I am probably one car flip or lantern hit away from ending the video. That's not atypical, though. That's not atypical. You need to hit the brakes faster so you don't uh, rattle. Yeah, you knew that was coming. Um, you, you need to not rattle. So I think you actually like air brake as soon as you go off the ramp. That's a great landing there. Just focus. Like, you can tell... I mean, we feel like we've been knocking for a long time, but we're, like, really knocking now. It's a great corner. Two seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's just a little... Like, and that's what it really comes down to. It's just a little too hard. This The shortcut is just a little too hard. Because we consistently are, are off by one, you know? We're, we're off by one element, like, every single time. It feels that much worse, because we're like... It's like when you're at a restaurant... And you've been waiting for your food so long, it's comical. Every time you see a server come out with, like, a handful of plates, you're like, oh, that's us. It's, there's no way it couldn't be us. And then it's not you, and you're like, how? We've been waiting here for an hour and a half for a simple green metal. How hard could it be? And then, like, you ask them, you're like, hey, where's our entree? We're just curious, did you forget about our entree? And they're like, sir, we have other tables. The problem is with you, sir. Why didn't you order an appetizer if you were so hungry that you couldn't wait two hours for your food? This is a curse. Like, to be so close... I don't even care about the author medal. Like, it's... I just wanna... <laughs> I just wanna complete a clean lap. I just wish to complete a clean lap. We've gotten so good at the start of this course, too. No air time. Clean enough. Clean enough. You can't rattle. Much. I hate it. Like, I just hate it. Maybe, you know, I would be better off. Maybe I'd be better off just forgetting that the shortcut exists. You know, I feel like Walter White, you know? I don't want to give you any spoilers for Breaking Bad, but I'm a man who's, whose real burden is his own ambition. You know? He knows the path. Oh, my God. 
He knows the path. But he was unwilling to, to walk the walk, you know? Or he's un, unable to walk the walk. And that's kind of where we're at. So, we, you know, he resorts to taking shortcuts. It's one of the themes of Breaking Bad. It's not the central story, but it's one of the themes. I can't believe we've been here for 90 minutes. I like. I have to... I think I got one more, like, lantern attempt. And if I don't get through, then, then we have to call it. And I'm going to leave with, like, a burning ember in my soul. Which is very frustrating for me. And I'm also leaving, like, rethinking the way that I want to approach Track Mania in the future, quite frankly. But mostly just because this track is hard. But we're at that, you know, moment right now where I'm like... If... If tomorrow's track of the day is a 9 or a 10, I'm back. If tomorrow's track of the... And again, it's less the track's fault. It's more the experience of the track. But if tomorrow's track of the day is like a 4, uh, it, may, it may destroy my will to ever play this game again. On YouTube, at least. So let's, you know, focus on the good times. Good rattling. Most rattling is not good. That rattling seemed fine. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're, like, just put yourself in my shoes right now. We can't complete a lap. And yet we do beat, through some sections, one of the top five ghosts in the egg card. That's never happened before. That's acceptable. It's not good, but it's acceptable. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to set a new PB. <laughs> 46.55? I gotta know, dude. I gotta know. What's the author? So many people are like, frick this, I can't do it. 46.3 is the author. I will not do it. I will not. We're close, but it's been too long. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya!